What's up guys, welcome back to Shifting Lanes. My name is Gregson and today I'm standing in front of my filthy Volvo XC90. I'm going to be giving it a full detail and I'm gonna teach you the correct way to ceramic coat a car. So if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for watching, and if you like what you see, please consider hitting the subscribe button and giving this video a thumbs up. Today, I have all of my detailing products in front of my family car. This is a 2017 Volvo XC90, and it's filthy, and it hasn't really been cared for uh, on the paint since it was new. Um, it was a dealer car, and it went through a bunch of machine washes, so there's a lot of swirls in the clear coat, and I'm gonna show you how to take those out today as well as wash it, and I'm also going to be ceramic coating it with Avalon King's Armor Shield 9 technology. We have it on my Volvo V70R down there and we're going to be putting it on all of the shifting lanes fleet cars eventually but this car is getting it today and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it so this is sort of your beginner's guide to DIY ceramic coating I'm gonna flip the camera around show exactly what I have here and then we're gonna get started if at the end of the video you think this came out well and you'd like to purchase the Avalon King Armor Shield 9 system all you have to do is go to avalonking.com and type in our code SHIFTINGLANES25 at checkout and you'll get a $25 discount on the kit from Avalon King, which makes this actually only $45. So before we get started, actually, uh, I wanted to show you the state of this car and there's a fingerprint. Now I would never do this to paint normally, but I'm gonna do, do a polish on this and take a lot of the swirls out of the clear coat, but you can see how dirty this is. I mean, this car is a really, this car is in a really bad shape. And if you don't believe me, here's the before on this and here's the after. So you can see the difference. This is a pretty drastic change that you're going to be making uh, from very dirty to very, very clean. Now you get a lot of these, if you haven't washed your car in a while, you get a lot of these like brush marks, not brush marks, but it's like windswept kind of uh, dirt. So we're gonna get rid of all that. We're gonna show you, um, you know, we have some pretty decent scratching here. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see that, but right here, there's some decent scratching. I don't, I'm not sure if the polish is gonna take that out. You may need to compound something like that, but something like this, you can probably take out with a little bit of polish. It looks just like a, a shopping cart had brushed up against it. Uh, we also are gonna be detailing this trim. This is a metal trim. Uh, you can polish this up, so we're gonna try to do that. And yeah, this thing is just filthy all over. Really, really bad. Yeah. Wash. Wash. I'm not a lefty, so bear with me. But without further ado, let's get to washing this car because it's gross, it needs it, and I'm gonna do the interior on another video. But until then, let's get going on the exterior. So here's all the products that you're going to need to do this job. First of all, you're gonna need a power washer or water source. My water source is right there. You can do this with a regular hose, but I have a power washer. It makes things a lot easier. You're gonna need a foam cannon, which will help clean the car. You're going to need some foam cannon wash, some polish. I also have some compound for some of the uh, more rough areas of this paint. You need um, uh, two buckets and all your wash gear. Uh, definitely the two bucket system is the way to go. And I'll explain that a little bit. And you also need this. This is the Avalon King armor shield 9 technology system and basically these kits come with everything you need you get in this little box you get an applicator pad you get your applicator cloth you get a nice handy dandy glove and you get a buffing cloth so when we get to that point I'll show you exactly how to do that but without further ado I'm gonna get to washing this car I'm not gonna give you a tutorial on how to wash a car there's a million of those on YouTube go look at any one of them go look at the one from Chris fix he's local here uh, to me um, I'm based in New Jersey I believe he's in New Jersey too but he has a great video on that I'll actually even link that in the description below because he's an awesome dude and has done so much for the car community over the years go watch his video it's so much better than anything I would produce but let's get to washing this car and I will talk you through the exact process of me washing it to get to the point of ceramic coating. So if you want to see the ceramic coating, skip towards the middle and you'll be able to see that. But until then, here's some time lapse of checking out the car and washing it. So the first thing I had to do was to wash my car. And this was my first time using a snow foam cannon. So as you can see, I had to adjust the amount of foam that was coming out. The thing you want to do is get this thing so foamed up that you basically can't see the paint anymore. You want it as white as you can, and that's going to get all the particulates off that you want. The next thing to do is to rinse this off or wash your car by hand. So I did both sides quickly, and then I went on to washing the car. And that got everything as super clean as I humanly could with the hand washing and foam cycles. So I paused in the middle of the washing process because I wanted to show you guys something. Now you see this. 
see how that water is just pooling that's not what you want uh, even this like the water is just kind of like running off it's not beating up you want the water to beat up and kind of just go away but you can see it's just pooling and all this pooling water is not great the next order of business was drying the whole car which I did because what I wanted to do was see exactly what the paint was looking like once I've washed it and got all the dirt off and the paint was definitely very swirled it had a lot of marks in it that I wasn't really happy about um, you can kind of see that the clouds were going in and out and I was getting different lights to see exactly how the paint was so what I did is I went inside and I grabbed some clay bar and I got some soapy water and basically just went around the whole car with the clay bar and made sure that all of the particulates were out of the car now you can see here I'm actually rinsing the car off because the sun was baking all the water off and all the stuff and it was just not really turning out the way I wanted it to so I kept the sides wet as much as I humanly could and I clay barred the entire car and got so many dirt particulates off of the paint and it just looked so so good when I was done so here she is all washed up we have our bucket full of goodies that we used and uh, like I said in the time lapse you never want to do this in the sun but I was working with a time clock and this was the only time I had to do it so I kept everything wet as much as I could and I think it came out pretty decent so let's take a look around there's a lot of stuff in here that we couldn't see because of the dirt we saw this scratch here but check this scratch out get in the shade that is a pretty deep scratch but if you come on this side it looks you can see how it's like normal paint here with swirls and then you get down here and it's like a little bit hazier I think someone tried to buff out this scratch before and it didn't really work out too well you can see there's just a lot of mirroring and swirling this is all from previous washes and and um, just everything but you can see already the paints looking a lot better uh, tons of little scratches here there's one here uh, there's just like a lot here a lot on the door handle but we're gonna get all that out with a compound um, we're gonna do a polish I don't think this car really needs a compound maybe something like this this is a big old scratch this didn't even show when it was dirty uh, when I was walking around the car beforehand didn't even know that that was there but we're gonna try to polish this out um, run my finger over it and it doesn't feel too deep so we might be able to get that out but the two scratches I showed you before there's one here that's still there but this little scratch here actually came out with a bunch of the clay so we did a good job on the clay bar you can see it's just decently clean um, we're gonna hit this again with some isopropyl alcohol then we're gonna compound it then we are going to ceramic coat it so all in all it's doing pretty good so far I would say that the wash job came out really good. We have pulled the car inside because we have a very bright light and it's going to get dark soon. So good to pull this in. Uh, luckily I'm able to do this and you can kind of see the paint's actually really nice. Uh, it's a black sort of like metallic flake to this thing, but you can see even more scratches in this light. So the stuff that wasn't showing up outside definitely was. And these little things that you can kind of like see here, I don't know if you can see that little abrasion there, that's something that did not show through with the dirt. So what we're gonna do, the next thing to do is sort of polish this up. Again, there are a million videos on compounding out there. I'm not gonna lecture you guys on it. If you wanna go find them, you can go find them. Uh, again, the, the crucifix video that is in the description has everything you need for super cleaning your car, including compounding and including polishing. So go check that out. Uh, basically just wax on, wax off, very easy. And that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna get to that. And then the next step will be coating and protecting this paint. And with that, I got to work polishing the paint. But what I was doing was I was checking the paint while I was going around the car. And as I was figuring out how to exactly use this polish, because every polish is different, you should always read the back of the bottle. Um, I was not really happy the way it was coming out. You can see me applying it here and rubbing it off and looking at it from different angles with my phone light and the light, the really bright light in my garage. And it was still leaving a ton of swirls. So what I did, was I actually got the compound and started to compound the whole car uh, by hand because it was coming out a lot better the polish really wasn't doing the job that I wanted it to and the swirl marks were coming out with the compound and I was really happy with the results that I was getting just from the compound now the stuff I was using was just Meguiar's you can find it at any auto parts store now you can see I'm working in two foot sections here and sort of putting it on and rubbing it off. It's not a very complex process, uh, but 
it, it was it was my first time doing this by hand. I don't really trust myself with machines. Uh, I don't have a big expensive uh, buffer. Uh, you can get one. You know they're they're relatively cheap, but I wanted to do it by hand, and I could feel the grit in the compound working on the paint. And it just for me, it was a really good way to do this and i think it came out very very nicely so i've compounded the whole car as you saw on the time lapse the polish just wasn't doing it um the compound looks really good it looks a little hazy but it's not uh it's just because that light is incredibly bright so here's what a mirror finish looks like i mean that's pretty amazing uh the compound did really nicely you can still see a touch of swirling but uh, honestly that's because i did it by hand if you have a, uh, a sander or a, a detail tool um to actually do an electric version of this uh, it'll come out a lot better i just don't trust myself with those things because i don't want to take too much of the layer of the clear coat off and by hand i feel like i can feel uh, exactly what the abrasiveness is and i just prefer doing it by hand it's a lot more labor intensive but it makes me a little bit happier and i think it makes a, a better finish for me uh it depends on who you are so this this is the avalon king and this is really the whole reason for this video um i wanted to show you the whole prep process because the prep is so important you can't just slap ceramic coating on a car that's gone to a uh you know drive through car wash it it's gonna lock in all the swirls you have to like do the prep make the you know make the effort and actually do what this is like that was the panel that we had before and it just looks so much better so i'm going to put the camera down i'm going to show you exactly what you have to do on this car i'm going to put a towel down i'm going to put the camera on the hood so you can kind of see and then we're going to show you exactly what you need to do and then time lapse the rest and then show you the finished product because it's dark out so once that's done i'm going to roll this outside tomorrow morning and i'm going to show you what it looks like in the light you're not going to believe your eyes so this is a really easy application. All you have to do is take a couple of drops, put it on your applicator pad, and just do this. Literally, that's it. Back and forth. Work in two foot sections in a cross hash pattern. Now what that means is you're gonna gonna you're gonna wanna go. Gonna gonna? Yeah. You go this way, then this way. That's it. Just like a checkerboard. Then all you gotta do is leave that for about a minute or two and you buff it right off. So let's close this up. And then you can kind of see it's a little bit different here than it is over here. And since I'm just showing you this on camera, you basically do this for a couple minutes, not even, and then you just buff it right off with the cloth. And that's it. The easiest process on earth and look at the shine. I mean, <laughs> it's pretty crazy uh yeah i absolutely love it and yeah it's a simple process so let's get to it let's get the rest of this car done and let's show you the results okay here's the water test that's coated <laughs> look at how it beads that's so good <laughs> that's amazing oh it just goes right off that's so good remember how this was before with it with pooling up like that like look at that and then there's nothing over here that's so cool oh man all right i gotta dry this off because i'm gonna do the rest of this car and it's gonna look so good So it's the next morning and I pulled the car outside and it's amazing. Check out the shine on this thing. Now, as I give you the full walk around, here is the panel that originally was dirty. It is literally a mirror. I mean, look at that. Like, look at this, look at this. <laughs> I can't believe this is even possible with in any product like I, I've seen it online and, and, and I've had it done before but man doing it yourself is just so satisfying so the whole car turned out amazing look at the shine on this hood it's unbelievable I mean whew. 
and it just feels like glass it feels like glass it's incredible and like the water just beads right off of it everything just sheets off there's a couple things we couldn't really uh, fix fully there's a still a little scratch right here it's not bad now the one thing to remember is when you're doing this you need to make sure that you have done all the prep work because there are a few spots i want to show you that if you don't do the prep work um and i left these on purpose because i'm going to do them after so you can see here this is ceramic coated this is not and you see all the swirling that's still here so you still need to compound this because what happens is you get this and this on the same panel now i hope this is coming out on camera but you can see it's still swirled there's still scratches here so what's going to happen is you're going to have a mismatched panel and it's going to look very odd but when you do a full panel this is what it looks like see all the way down you've compounded you've ceramic coated you've done all the prep work and you've ceramic coated properly but if you don't this is what happens so i'm going to pull the car back in off camera and i'm just going to finish the bottom of this panel and then it, and then coat it and it's done but i wanted to do this on purpose so you can show you guys the difference between the prep and the full coating so that is pretty much it the car looks insane the avalon king armor shield 9 did its job spectacularly well and i mean the, the the results just show for themselves a couple of these scratches didn't come out but we would need a full paint correction this thing is deep um and it's just you know we, we need a full paint correction for a lot of the stuff on this car but overall i mean <laughs> from here you can't even see any blemishes and it just beautifully shines and all the water is going to come right off this car when it rains this thing is fully protected you can actually do uh, a lot of the trim pieces i actually did the whole roof rail on this car too uh, to give it a little bit more shine and a top tip is when you have plastic pieces on your car you can actually ceramic coat it it'll give it a nice new shine it'll look new and it will protect it for a long time to come so that will do it this is amazing i'm i'm absolutely speechless if you want to get the armor shield 9 system check the link in the description below or go to avalonking.com like i said in the beginning of the video and use the code shifting lanes 25 you get 25 dollars off every single order so thank you guys so much for watching if you found this helpful or if you liked the video please consider subscribing for a lot more like this to come and giving this video a thumbs up that will do it for my 2017 Volvo XC90 and the Avalon King Armor Shield 9 ceramic coating system. Uh, I'm gonna pull this car back in and redo that one panel and it's done. And I'm really excited to have a super clean car for my family on the outside. Now, the car on the inside is absolutely filthy and I will go into another video where I may even ceramic coat the seats inside, restore them and then ceramic coat it because you can do that too. You can ceramic coat just about anything. Um, and the Armor Shield 9 system is just a really good system to use so go pick one up today that will do it for today's video thank you so much for watching if you want to follow us on instagram it is at shifting lanes you can go follow us on facebook too we post on there all the time and uh yeah you can follow me at real gregson m thanks so much for watching and i will catch you next time see ya